there your life. Can I get a whoop, whoop. Can I get a um, a raccoon? Huh. So right now I'm focusing on the edges here because this is where it is. You see that? Mm -hmm. There. Can you damp damp it? Okay, you can see the breeze. <laughs> it's coming right off. Thank you, like, it yeah. It's really insane. This product is real good. Um, my customer's husband, she goes, Oh, I'm here to buy more surface yeah. clear because my husband's cleaning all the baseboards with it. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> well, he loves that stuff. That stuff is good. And you'll see it, see how it stained the wood? I'm not sure if you can see, make, made it look like yes. kind of whitish. Mm -hmm. But look at my scrub. Now oh, there's the grease on it. And a little bit more from the way. Can you see? So focus on the ones that are heavy first, okay? Okay. And you can wear gloves, but you don't have to. I can't work with gloves. No, either. I can't do it. And I've done some videos with gloves, but I'm like, ugh. Just don't feel like I'm getting in there, you know? You want a little spatula? Yeah. I think I should find it. Let's wipe down and we'll be done with that. If you guys have any questions watching the video, let me know. So she is doing a kitchen cabinet door, the one that goes above the stove. Um, and she's working on the cleaning of it. It was pretty heavy on the grease side. Where is the spatula, hun? Right here. Years of grease on there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? That's crazy. But the good thing you only do it on two, you don't have to go over the grease too. It's just helping it, the process to go faster. Hey Cindy, so right now, yes, if they're already painted, you do want to clean them as well. Um, this one is painted, but it's been, um, it has a lot of uh, heavy grease, you can see. Heavy, heavy grease, so we're uh, loosening it up with a surface cleaner. And um, I'm going to have to make a strong one right now for you. You want me to? Yeah. Okay, hold on. It's getting into the crevice like in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so this is 15 years of usage. Um, so it's got a lot of buildup, but this, this is, these are the two that have the most. And you can see on the door all the grease there that almost came off. Um, it's almost all out. Almost. I just made her a stronger uh, uh, surface cleaner, so she's going to use that with a heavier uh, scrub. So if you guys are doing your kitchen cabinets, make sure that you guys clean them first. Um, using the surface cleaner, that's going to take off all the grease and it's going to leave them nice and clean for you guys to apply the paint. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, 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 Yeah, so we make all of this here in house. So if you run into an issue, just let me know what it is. We basically know. We've seen it. We've seen it all. <sighs> Everything. Everything. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, when people tell us, hey, you know, it's not working, like you say it was going to work, and we say, okay, we'll bring it, and they bring it, and it's like, okay, yeah, well, you didn't clean it. They're like, no, I did, no, you didn't. <laughs> Look, it's full of grease. You can tell. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, uh, and we ask, like, what did you use for cleaning? Well, I used um, like the greaser. Like a or something. Well, I just used alcohol. For kitchen cabinets, alcohol. My girl, Look, it's Hey Cindy, yes, I, that's what I say. Yes, you have to clean them first. Um, again, this is a case where the door um, had a, a, a lot of buildup on the grease side. But yes, you do want to clean them first, even though they got paint on them. Um, and then once they're nice and clean, then you can start applying the paint on, on top. And yes, you can use the tea what's it called? It's a... It's a liquid that you put on and then you scrape it. But it has no, it's a so powder. Much, it's a powder. It has so much um, chemicals in it. Imagine. And yes, it might be faster, but you're dealing with harsh chemicals. You know, you have to use masks. You have to use gloves. And, you know. Perhaps we don't think it did a great job taking the grease off because I've tried so many things. Look it. Touch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's squeaky clean now. It's squeaky clean now. It's squeaky clean now. So, you like it? Peace out. Thank you. 
I went on Pinterest and looked for so many recipes. Oh. <laughs> it seemed like I was baking baking soda uh. and so many other things. Oh, no. This unique rainbow separates cleaner. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people swear about it, you know? Because, because of how it just removes the grease. But it comes right off. And we're not just removing some of the grease, it's also some of the sheen is coming off. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, you can see how it looks yeah, dull. Like no um, it's not shiny like the awesome. other one. So that would be kind of like, like it's standing at the same time. Uh -huh. right? mm -hmm. But in a no in a, in a way. Way. <laughs> <laughs> And easier, because then you're not inhaling you all that mess. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that dust everywhere. Good. What do you think, Mr. Green? That's good. Let me see. Let me see the towel. Let me rinse it for you. I used to clean houses, but man, I remember their kitchens. <laughs> oh, man, that business is hard. If you guys got a question, let me know. I'll be uh, I'll ask Terry, and then she can answer them for you, or I can answer them myself as well. Okay, we're ready. I'll wrap so she's ready. She went uh, over the surface, what, twice, three twice. times? But twice to remove all the grease. And this was a heavy case of grease. So right now she's just drying and she's going to start applying the paint once, once she's done drying. You need a dry one? Mm -hmm. That I have. And you can just use a brush to get in there. It's not coming off of your clothes, neither your shoes. Oh if it lands on carpet, it's not coming off of carpet. If it lands on concrete, it's not coming off of concrete. If it lands on your floor, you can't scrape it off, but it's going to still stain it. So. Okay. So, so be careful. Prep the floor also. Oh, yeah, cover yes. it. Yeah, cover it up. Yeah. Use, um, I usually go to the dollar store and buy the curtains for the bathrooms. Oh, okay. The plastic yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. Just lay them out and cover your area where you're going to be painting. Just in case of any spills, not that I splash it, the paint won't splash. But um, I just want to make sure, because a lot of people tend to drop the top coat or the cleaner, you know? So, you know when to have those issues. I'm 
Unless you want to change your form. Oh, you're going to change your form. Yes. Yeah. Then I want to do the cabinet first. Yeah, that's good. What kind of floors do you guys have? We have I'm the laminate, no laminate. Laminate? Uh -huh, but they're dark, so we're going back on a lighter. Um, mm. you, you know you can paint your floors too, right? But you know what, since we had some spills and since it's laminate, it's kind of like messed up. It, oh, like, I messed up the, yeah, yeah, I messed up, so we have to. Um, okay. Yeah, she was telling us that we can do. Yeah, I just painted an aisle over there to the other day. Yeah. It looks like it's wax, huh? Yeah. Like I'm removing the wax from it. Okay, but we're ready. We're ready to start painting. So on this one, just remember. Okay, so I'll do one half, so that way you can fix this other half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll need my round brush. Oh, water spray. Okay. I need cocoa. No. And here's the thing for, for the dryer. Yeah. So you want to uh, miss your brush. Okay, even though it's brand new. I always like to miss my brush. Some people don't like it. I like it. I feel that you get a better black with the uh, bristles being a little damp, but not soaking wet. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then after you paint, wash your brush with soap and water. And when you come back and reuse it, if it's dry, then mist it again. Okay. And I'm getting hot. Is that hot or just hot? It is. It's my light. 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 When you're young, you, yeah, you go through stuff. Okay, I'm going to grab Google from here, honey, because I don't see one over there. Yep. Is there one? There should be. I think it's over here in the, uh, oh, no, coconut. No, no, there's one over there. Okay, let's see. 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 Let's see.
Yeah, we've done kitchens for customers. Yeah, within three days. It shouldn't take you more than a week if you do if you build it in sections. Yeah. And once you start, you won't stop because you start seeing how it looks different. So like, oh, we're flowing. But yeah, it, it gets very easy. Just feather it. Okay, this should be your first cut. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, now we're gonna dry it up with the heat gun so that way we can speed the process of the dry time. But don't use a, blow, a hair blower or anything. Um, it's not recommended. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to let the paint do its job. So you want to let it sit and it'll self level and it'll do its job good. This is a heat gun and we use it for, you know. For demos to show um, each coat. You have that ring piece? Speak the process. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody's on top of the song. Like, hey, everybody picks up their phone. Like, what is it? Usually three, four coats. Thin okay. coats, you see how thin it is? Mm -hmm. Once you do your third mm -hmm. coat, mm -hmm. you won't see any brush okay. strips. So really 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 nice. Thank you. And on the finishes, do you have different finishes? Yeah, we have matte, the semi gloss, and then we have the um, the high gloss. Right. You can choose anything you like. Usually, what I recommend to go with is the semi gloss, and it's the one that is very, very popular right now because it's not shiny, but yeah, it's not dual. Okay, so I missed my brush again, grabbing a little bit of paint, and I'm gonna start where I left off in the middle. Hey Jen, that's more of a uh, light brown color. That's the, the that's the cocoa, right? This is cocoa. Yeah, this is the popular. this is the cocoa uh, cocoa color. Um, so it's like a brush. super light it helps brown. With the feathering. A lot. If you guys want to see other colors, uh, we have kits available on the website. Uh, if you guys have your kitchen. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe like like white on top and this color on the bottom. Or you can put this color on top and maybe put a little darker on the bottom. Oh, okay. If you guys have a kitchen what, what, what that you guys want to do. do you have, um, what do you think will look good on that one? With this one, you can get frozen white and the frozen white on the top cabinet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, uh, you're not coming. Oh, I thought you moved because you you can do, or you can do cocoa on the top, mm -hmm. and do either, um, you can do the dark charcoal, which is a dark gray, okay. or you can do a silk gray, or you can do chocolate, if you want to stay in the brown. In the brown uh-huh. I mean, you can do a lot. Your kitchen is good for that. It's pretty good, yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice. Or you can do everything cocoa, everything, and the island blue it in color. Okay. Like, maybe white. Or like a light gray, mm -hmm. or like a dark brown, or like a dark gray, you know, you can always mess nice. around. It looks really, really elegant. So pretty, huh? Yeah. Okay, ready? Missing the brush. Hey Jen. <laughs> what happened? What's, uh, Jen is saying, uh, pretty. I have still not started my project. She's dragging her heels, and oh, she's gosh. thinking maybe she wants a different color. Well, have you um, have you ordered your color yet? If you have not picked up your order here from the shop, we have a bunch of orders here. Make sure that you come and pick up your order. Um, and if you guys want to switch the color before you take it, you can, but not after you take it. Okay, there's no returns. Yeah, once the paint gets out, it's out. So this will be your second cup. And look at that coverage already. It's 
It's really the product is very pigmented. Has a lot of pigment. And it's like you wanted to add something more instead of doing two tones. Oh my god, it's just my head goes crazy with ideas. Hey Kathy, um, yep, come and pick up your order, girl. You can do the three coats. It's and right here. Come in with like the darker brown, which is espresso, and apply it to the crevices oh, and then wipe it down and just have that brown tone inside the detail. You want to see? You want me to do yeah, a little like sample? Example. If anything, we just paint it back. It's the yeah, That's a cool part of it. I look very elegant, too. Are you changing the knobs or are you letting the same? I'm not changing the knobs. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Alright, so let's move forward with our third coat, okay? And you see how much paint I'm using? Very, very little bit. And they start to just to cover up, you know, whatever areas I didn't catch. It's like the final touch. You like this color? Sí. Se mira bien. And you know when to miss your brush because it starts getting dry. And we have the mister. Como ya no quiere correr. And because it dries so fast, you know, especially when it's hot. Are the girls okay there? Yeah. Um, the, the older girl she left. Um, okay. So now we're going to dry, and now we're going to add the espresso. Oh, one half. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like it. Yeah. No te quema tus manitas? Like, it feels good. I'm a guapo. <laughs> she has how many boys? Five. Five boys. Five boys. Five little boys. boys. No girls. No, no, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Stop chasing the girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't give up, but I did plan for that. Like with the Chinese calendar. Uh -huh. Well, I planned with the Chinese calendar three times. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we always wanted four. Because in my, in my house, almost flat, but in my house, it's also three boys and one girl. In Millington's house, it's three boys and one girl. Oh, the boys. So it's more yeah, boys. More boys, yeah. They're, um, see, see. They're oh. 12 grandkids and only one girl. So I'm like, you know what? I just. So we're not more having the girl. Yeah. <laughs> and so we wanted four, and then my sister in law, we would get pregnant. We had three kids. Two of my sister in law and my son, we, had three, we got pregnant at the same time. Three, three times. Wow. And then, but I mean, I started before them, and then I'm already 42, so they're, they're younger. So I'm like, you know what? My husband's like, you just put it in again. Why don't we try one more time? So, but I can't say, you know, I can't. I'm going to go to my niña. So we planned him, and we got to my niña, and I told him, you know what? I, I'm blessed with my boys, but I said, no, I can't. No more. That will be six. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was like to get four. Yeah, it's a lot of work. How many do you have? I have four. four. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going Girls to need. Um, I have three boys and one girl. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's the girl. Yeah. Boys are way easier. Oh, yeah. That's what everybody tells me. You're lucky that you have. Yeah. Oh. Way easier. Way easier. Oh. Yeah. You know that saying, be careful what you wish for? <laughs> yeah, with the girls. It's been hard because they're different. We're different. We're drama. Hey, Diane. Yes, we do have samples, uh, two ounce samples available. I'm so lucky. I'm like, why? And I want to have a girl. And I'm like, oh, no, girls are twice as hard. Are you thinking of time? These are the samples that we have available. You can choose any color from our collection. Thank you. 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 Thank you
two sets of little divas. She wanted to do dance and all this, and then, I was, then the attitude started to come with it. So I'm like, oh. no, I'm out. <laughs> not doing it. Can't do it. Sandra Taylor, one of our customers and good friends, she says, my mom had seven boys, three girls. My son has seven girls, one boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. So pay attention, you guys. This is where the fun begins. Okay, you guys know how much I love to do this finish because I just so think it really so adds character to any piece, like the picture frame behind you. It's just the dark tones really brought the details of it. So I'm going to apply it on half of the door so that way you guys can see. And you'll need a small brush, espresso, your water mister. Mix your brush, dip it into your paint, and you'll need a little rag because it's going to be like a wipe off, okay? Mm -hmm. And you want a little damp and that's soaking wet, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to add it to one half, making sure it goes into the crevice. Like this. And that's scary. It's like, oh my god, what are you doing? You're also taking your paint here back the same color. <laughs> <laughs> right? But then we're just going to. Just gonna wipe off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, the paint will come right off when you wipe it. It's one of my favorite finishes. And the more you wipe off, the more paint you remove. See? Okay. Mm -hmm. that 3D look. Hello? Yeah. I'm I'm used to working like big areas. Mm -hmm. So I'm like trying to stay in one end and one half. <laughs> and you have more or less as you go. So do you have to coat it twice? If you, you want, want it to, darker. If you want it darker, yeah. How it gives it that, mm -hmm. that dimension in there. But like I said, it's really ugly. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. I mean, don't know. To me, I'm going to lay and you just add like more over here where I clean up more to the More of a detail work. Okay? Mm -hmm. And just allow it to stay with the size of the detail. You know, the end is perfect. That's the best part of it. It's not even a home depot. If people see their kitchens that they have a home depot, you know, it's only water for Yeah, just a little rag. We'll do the job. <laughs> and just don't let it dry on you. Okay? So remember the paint will dry fast. In case it does dry, what do we You're gonna have to record it with the with your base color. But usually it gives you enough time to work with it. As long as the as long as the, the little towel you're using Damped a little bit, yeah. Then you yeah. you should have enough enough room with the time to to do it. I work in small areas also, like in places that big the bigger door. Yeah. Um, so areas. Mm And that finish, like modern farmhouse right now, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks more expensive. Oh, yeah. Instead of just. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. 
If you go to Home Depot, you buy the base kitchen, 10 by 10, base kitchen, no colors, nothing, just base, $10,000. Oh, yeah. And if you want a color, that's on top. If you want a custom like that, that's another top. So you're looking for like a little kitchen, like maybe $20,000, $25,000 for like a custom job like that. And this is fun stuff to do. I love to do this stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm a painter too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when you do the case. Oh, you decorate them. <laughs> I'm not like a case though. That's scary. Like, that yeah, scares me. <laughs> I would eat it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why it's scary. <laughs> Especially like when you're doing it for someone else. I think it's like everything, right? It's like one of the truth I'm right. I, 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 mean, I think it could be pretty good. I see the picture. I'm so very. Um, so you might have a lot of scary. Especially when you're doing it, you're cracking, especially like when you're doing the wedding cake or yeah. you know, something that is very personal. Yeah, you're doing it with a lot of greens and that's right. Yeah. yeah that's, that's good. That's why I like food like that. The greens. That's my favorite sauce. This is one of my favorite sauce, too. Yeah. Like, okay. So good. Oh, so like soup. So now. Yeah. No. Oh, I'll have to make it. Now we have to buy the clear cut. Yeah. But if you don't have it, you can make it. Oh, like base one from this bowl? Yes, the three quarts. And then just one of these. There's something pretty perfect. See, I know there is one. It's funny. Don't touch it on the stove. Yeah. But you have to, like, look as it just saying. Everything first. And then you fry it. Fry it so it's that and like it's like uh -huh. from being and like a sandy it, you know, to more of a ton of all that and you just slow cook it like all the so when you're doing your bits oh. same height of the oh. is this probably I'm not saying probably like yeah, that's 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 we recommend to use. I don't. This one. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Damien. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do the semi gloss for you guys. Oh, okay. Jared, don't Damien is okay. And this also we make it here. It's a really strong product as the durability. Okay. As it's non toxic, doesn't do anything to you unless it gets on your nails and it's very hard to remove. It's like a Strong, clear coat. Oh, yeah. It's so that would be recommended for glass? I would. I would use glass, especially if you're going to be using the sponge, okay. because okay. it will get into inside your nails. Okay. Yeah, it gets in your nails, and it takes forever. Like, I still have some from, like, a couple days ago that, that I used, and I'll be, like, scraping it off. Scraping it off. Yeah. My yeah. customers, I think, uh, from Florida, she's like, Carrie, I spilled it. It's around the, you know, the mouth. I can't. Open it because it's 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 like glue. It's uh -huh. like I'm like just bend it a little bit. <laughs> oh, I tried that. You, this must be some good stuff you got going on. I'm like, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> but then he he goes, oh, my son was able to open it. I'm just weak. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, usually when you bend it a little bit, it opens right up. Yeah. So dip it a little bit, goes a long way. So just dip it a little bit and remove the excess. And don't press it, just feather it. No paint over wet. Do you have to do a semi gloss? Or you you can do any. You can do like a mask. Here, here yeah. are the machines over here. So here's a matte semi gloss and then high gloss. So well, this is a semi gloss. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm teaching is good semi gloss. So, yeah. Easier to clean. Although they all give you the same protection, it's just different finish. No, it's okay. So this is where I do it. I don't even touch it because it's already getting dry. And if I mess with it, it's going to get tacky. Okay. And you don't want that. You don't want to learn it. So mm -hmm. the clear color more like this, right? And you touch it, and it gets all messed up. You take it. Yeah, you don't want to do it. Um, so we're going to wait for that to dry. When you do this finish, um, when we do like the three coats, 
Then we lightly sand it with the 220 sanding block, so it's super smooth, and I'll show you guys over here. That's, um, it comes, the kit comes with that sanding block. Um, you can do it, or you don't have to do it, you know? It's just really up to you what finish, but we included it on the kit just because sometimes it's necessary to sand before painting because the wood is not even, and you want an even surface. Um, or because they really like it smooth, but go ahead and just touch lightly, like barely. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. It's smooth, right? Versus if you touch on the here, it feels more chalky. Right? So if I come in with my sanding block, the 220, and I lightly sand this right here, So it's smooth. Because oh. chalk paint, chalk paint has a chalky feel. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and feel that, and then feel over here. Mm -hmm. I think okay. I was done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now if you can touch here and touch here, and you'll feel the difference too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is thing almost. Yeah. So, because we're doing this finish, um, you can sand after you do this finish. Okay, so lightly sand it. Okay, especially in your flat areas. Here, I wouldn't even recommend it. But here, in your flat areas, yes. And you want to stay away when you're sanding. You want to stay away from your higher points, which is the edges, because then you're going to over sand. And what's going to happen? You're going to distress it. And you don't want to distress it. Unless you're going for that finish, which is it's nice too. Mm -hmm. But bro, if you're doing this, it's already too much. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing this and you rather do this, this is really cute too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just on the edges. So they have like something like this on there, and they're doing that in there. Will this catch that paint if you don't like it off mm -hmm. too much, or you so, stand that? So he's gonna put glue, he's gonna fix it, and then he's like, you're not gonna sand it and make it even. Once you put the, the, the brown paint, you're gonna make sure you don't get it in there, because then it's gonna be lovely. Okay? But you can also do this finish. See? And it's really, really cute. It gives it more detail, right? Yeah. Did you use a different type of finish? Yeah, mm -hmm. totally different. Karen, why are you showing me so much? <laughs> no, it's good, I like to learn. That's where you focus on your higher points. Here, here we're doing the inner points. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Hey, <laughs> we love it. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm answering questions while typing, but I'm gonna take this time to answer a question for uh, Diane. Diane, if you're doing your kitchen, so you don't have to do all the steps. Wait 25 minutes between coats. You don't have to do all the steps. These are the steps. So Based on the type of finish she is doing, okay? Uh, but the, the one step you don't want to skip on is the cleaning first, okay? You do want to clean the surface, apply the paint, and then seal it, which that's what she's doing right now. Don't worry about your edges, okay? The edges, you're going to clean them up with this. Now, you see all these crumbs? It's because I didn't clean them out of okay. that. So that's all those crumbs that you see there. But if you tend to have some, 
just wait for the top coat to dry and then you just come off. Oh, okay? But that's basically it. Do this three times to the whole door, let it dry, but don't overdo it. If, you, if I come in with this right now, I'll mess up the whole thing. Because it's already dry. As it, as it touches the surface, it already starts drying. So maybe like one, two, and let it go. Yeah. One, two, and then move forward. And then go back to, you know, once it's dry. And that's it. And then you put your cute, you know, handles or knobs. And then you put them back up. And then you have a brand new kitchen. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you go into that. Just like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. And then you want to make sure they don't stay out. Your brushes don't stay out because they'll become hard. The paint dries hard. Especially with this, with the sponges. With the sponges. Oh, okay. it, it, it's, just, it's just messy. So they'll get damaged. So keep yourselves a container with water, okay, handy, um, so that when you guys are painting, the kids get hungry, you guys need to do something, stick your brush into a container with water. Well, that's how fast it dries. Yeah, it dries fast. And the top coat, as you see, is already almost dry, and it dries fast on the sponge, and it'll get damaged like this. Watch, touch it, and it's hard. The top is hard. So you get, you get damaged super fast. Yeah, so if you leave it sitting out for five minutes, then it, it'll it'll start getting like that, and then it won't work because you don't have a soft. It doesn't set that. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't leave a soft finish. Yeah. And now because it's drying, it means that it's cured. You can just come in and mess with it. No, allow it to dry at least twenty four hours on your last clear coat. Let them sit for twenty four hours, then come the next morning and then start putting them up. You know. Um, it's really good to give it its time to cure, okay? Especially because it dries so fast. And we put in coats after coats after coats after coats. So everything really Yeah, that's not look dry, but the uh, bottom yeah, is going to be maybe like tacky. Soft, something yeah. like that. But it feels good. Like, I like to make it like Enjoy it. <laughs> really pretty. Really fun. Really, really pretty. Yeah. Yep, yep. What so, color um, hardware do you recommend? I will go with something like this. Something this color. So you give it a nice contrast too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking, can you show my husband the picture of your kitchen? Mm -hmm. No, are you recording? Are you going to put me on TikTok? I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I don't even know you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 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 You got, but you got wood all over. So we use cocoa yeah. and espresso. Okay. Yeah, and then, and, and, uh, la parte well, de abajo. El frente no tiene, acá no tiene wood. Es nada más para, uh, como. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, pero tienes acá y acá. Cuatro no? cabinets. No, tampoco. Sí, tiene como, el gabinete tiene tres paredes, como esta, esta y la frente de puertas. Y, okay. y detrás de la island es la drywall. Drywall, okay. Tiene cuatro puertas aquí, luego la. la Alright, you guys, well, if you guys have any okay. other questions or acá, any ideas yeah, you would like to share with me acá. and help you no, no, understand how to do it, oh, yeah. just let me know, send me a private message okay. and stay tuned because I'm going to do the second cut on the okay. floor okay. and the table. So, aquí en el cuento no vamos a hacer gabinete, un puro cabinete. Okay, un 10 by 20.